How to add custom liquid section in Shopify. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom liquid section in Shopify. This is a great way to personalize your store and add unique features. So make sure to watch this video till the end. And let's get started. We're about to unlock the full potential of your Shopify store design by diving into custom liquid sections. This powerful feature allows you to add unique functionalities and personalize your website like never before. But first, let's talk about what custom liquid sections actually are. You might have seen the custom liquid option in the section settings and wondered, what exactly is this? Well, liquid is Shopify's templating language, which enables dynamic content loading and custom layouts. Sections, on the other hand, are reusable components that you can add to your store pages. The custom liquid section gives you full control over the code, allowing you to create tailored sections with specific content. So why should you use these custom liquid sections? They let you break free from the limitations of standard Shopify themes. With a basic theme, you're limited to using pre-designed sections like featured collections, collection lists, and banners. But what if you want to add a video with a banner or a video with text? For that, you'll need a custom liquid section. It gives you the flexibility to create more specific, unique designs and advanced features that suit your store's exact needs. If you're not sure how to add a custom liquid section or don't know how to write code, don't worry. You don't need to be an expert. You can easily find pre-made code snippets on GitHub. GitHub is a collaborative platform where developers share code and other useful elements. For example, if you search for something like Shopify Video Header Custom Liquid, You'll find a variety of code examples and solutions to help you customize your store. You can browse through different sections, find the right code for your needs, and then simply copy it and paste it into your Shopify store. This is one of the reasons I rely on GitHub for code. It's a great resource for quickly finding elements like custom headers or different footer designs. If you're not familiar with GitHub or you don't want to dive into code, there are other ways to find solutions. A simple Google search, like Shopify video background code or how to modify banner code, will bring up free resources and guides. You can even ask AI tools for help in generating code snippets or custom elements. Now, let's jump into the theme editor. If you're not sure how to get there, here's a quick breakdown. First, log into your Shopify account. Once you're logged in, go to the online store section on the left sidebar and then click on themes. This will show your active theme. If you want to switch to a different theme, you can do so by clicking on the Theme Store option. Inside the Shopify Theme Store, you'll find a variety of themes, both paid and free, that you can browse through. Choose the one that fits your style best and continue from there. Once you've selected your theme, make sure to publish it by clicking the three dots next to the theme and selecting Publish. This will make the theme active on your store. In my case, I'm using a specific theme, and I like to rename it so I can easily identify which one I'm working with. Now, to access the theme editor, click on Customize under your current theme. To create a new section within the theme, look for the Sections tab on the left sidebar. Here, you'll see various templates, including the header and homepage sections. To add a new section, click the Add Section button, then select Create a Custom Section. At first, you might not see anything, but scroll down to find the option for Custom Liquid. Click on it, and now you're ready to start writing your custom Liquid code. Let's dive into the basics of Liquid code. Liquid is Shopify's templating language, and while it might sound complicated at first, it's pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. You don't need to worry too much about advanced code if you're just starting out. We can focus on some basic examples to help you get comfortable. For instance, one of the common tasks you might want to do is display product information dynamically. To achieve this, you can use Liquid Syntax to create loops and pull specific data from your products. Let's start with something simple. Here's an example of a basic Liquid loop that displays product information. The code snippet looks like this. Liquid, copy, edit. To percent for product in collection, dot products, percent, the product dot title, product dot price, money, per percent end for percent. This piece of code loops through all the products in a collection and displays their title and price. Notice the percent for percent or loop that tells Shopify to iterate over each product in the collection. The our product dot title and be a product price, ye money, are placeholders that Shopify will replace with the actual product data when the page is loaded. 
This is just a basic example, but the power of Liquid lies in its flexibility. You can customize this code to pull any type of information, whether it's product descriptions, images, or anything else you want to showcase on your store. If you want to explore further, you can try creating more complex loops or conditional statements, but for now, this should give you a good starting point to understand how Liquid works. The beauty of Liquid is that it allows you to dynamically display data without needing to hard code everything, making it incredibly useful for creating custom pages and layouts that update automatically with your store's data. You can enhance your custom Liquid sections by using HTML and CSS within your Liquid code. This allows you to style your section exactly how you want it, making your store design unique and polished. Now, now let's move on to adding schema settings. Schema settings are essential because they make your section more user-friendly. With schema settings, you can allow store owners or users to easily update text, images, colors, and other elements directly from the Shopify admin interface without needing to touch the code. This makes it super convenient for adding reusable and customizable sections without constantly editing the code manually. To get started with schema settings, I'll show you a quick process. First, let's open a new tab. Suppose you want to add a custom section to Shopify, or you could ask an AI tool like ChatGPT to help you generate custom code. You'll then be able to paste the generated code into your Shopify store. Here's an example of how you might structure your custom section schema. This example shows how you can define different settings, such as text for the title, an image picker for the background, and a color picker for text color. This allows the store admin to customize these elements directly from the Shopify theme editor. Once you've added your schema settings, always be sure to thoroughly check for errors in your code before saving. It's essential to make sure your section displays correctly on different devices and screen sizes to ensure a smooth user experience. By using schema settings in your custom liquid sections, you can give your Shopify store more flexibility and make it easier for users to manage their content. Get inspired by exploring other Shopify stores for ideas on how to use custom liquid sections to elevate your store's design and functionality. There are countless ways to use these custom sections, so take a look at what others are doing to get creative and find new ways to enhance your own store. Hopefully this information has been helpful and empowers you to create a truly unique and engaging Shopify store. With just a little knowledge of liquid coding, you can unlock endless possibilities for customization and functionality. So what kind of custom liquid section are you planning to create? Drop your ideas in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.